good afternoon. Oh, just get the camera out as the wind picks up. Just as I'm trying to talk to you, it's right. Whew. We are in the Howgill Fells tonight. And I've got these two up there. Making their way up. Mr. Wardle and Mr. Rab. Oh, just had uh, a little stop over two pints in a pub called the Dalesman, I think it was called. Which was a uh, lovely little pub. Look at the view behind though, look at it. Very nice. You could actually be mistaken. If I didn't tell you, that would probably be the Lake District. Because it does look very similar. But it's not as busy. There's hardly anybody here. There's a couple of people up in this boat. Uh, right. So I'll, uh, I'll get back here when there's something interesting happening. Yep, this happened. Oh, so glad we got a tent up when we did. Oh man. So we got to the top. Actually, we got about we got about 100 yards from the top, and we're on the uh, the calf, which is what? What is it? Six six nine. Six hundred and ninety meters in the Howgill Fells, and we got about 100 meters from the top. Uh, 100, about 100 yards from the top, up the path, and it started tossing it down, and it's still doing it now. And then it stopped when we were at the top. And then, literally as soon as we got the tent up, this happened. And it's grim, really grim. Really grim, like Danny Grimmer. So I've just literally chucked all of my stuff out and it's a, a right state. <laughs> Everything over there is soaked, brought me drone up, don't know why I even bothered. Don't know why I even bothered. Boots are soaked, rucksack soaked, beers are nicely dry. We'll have a little look at them later. So it's just a case of Lying in here until uh, until it clears up. Cleared up a bit. This is all of that's passed over, and now we're just now all of this is coming. So I don't know, don't know what's on the cards for the weather. It's just hit and miss, really. I mean, it looks lovely over there. Over there looks nice. Over there looks a bit grim. That way looks a bit. It just it 
just all looks a bit grim. Flipping winds picked up though. No. Bloody winds picked up. Let's have a little. I'll actually, tell you what. Let's have a look at the tents. There's uh, Carrie's tent. Andy's used Carrie's tent and trying to fob it off as his own, which is uh, the Sulu. There's mine. The Voyager. Looks a bit skew with, but it's not. There's Rob's. Una. In his Una. Massive. We're all jealous of it. I'm gonna play a game, right? It's like a it's like a little quiz, little test. How many gloves is Rab wearing? Yep. One. <laughs> Here's the beers. Here's the main main attraction. Oh beer. 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 More beer. More beer. More beers. I'm, I can't wait to try this one. This one. It's a magic rock lime, hibiscus, and chili. <whistles> yeah, I never haven't tried this one before either. Beaver Town neck oil. Got another time and tide brewing, another strong one. Flipping 9% double stout. I don't know if we're going to drink all these tonight, like. <laughs> <laughs> and a nice Wylam can. I've had this on keg in the uh, in the brewery. It's really nice. And then we've got a San Miguel Special. Rabs. Oh, Harbour. And then he's got a black sheep. A blue and shooping. And then I. Right, so we're just going to get on. What time is it? Half six or something. I'm having a beer. Beer. Oh, on ten, the beer. Ten to seven? Shut up, ten What's to happening? seven. Right. Wait a minute, I'll just get it. What are you gonna say? I'm gonna say Oh you've got get you've got get stuff in your beer. Is it uh it's oh, that? Oh, it's Looks like a get uh, tonsil stone. Oh no, it's um, what do you call it? Crisps. Crisps. First beer's on. Just adjust the camera. Perhaps we're on a mission, First yeah. beer is on. And it's the Beaver Town neck oil. Session oh, IPA, 4.3%. Like See the colour. And it's very nice. A very nice. It's re I look at the colour of it. It's like a sample. <laughs> Fruity. Oh, there's no sinus is gone. Oh, refreshing, clean, crisp. Grapefruit. Very nice. Seven? Five. Seven out of ten. Crazy. For the neck oil, seven out of ten. What would you give that, mate? Solid, about. solid seven, isn't it? It's nice, eh? Huh? But I'm like struggling to taste it because I'm getting wind blown, so I've got a blooming nose full of. Oh dear. Can be... I really don't like the look of this. I don't What's know, I think it's coming cloud, in though. here. It doesn't look like rain. What's it say? I think it's just cloud. Catch him, Derry. I think it's just cloud. It's making a mockery of you. It's making a mockery. <laughs> so, we're just, we're here, we're, we're chilling. Chilling, Ari. At the trig point. Chilling, we're freezing. And that's the view. Carrie's tent, all about the my news. tent, Rab's tent. That really does doesn't half come up on the on the camera. That red mind, and we're having this. What is it? Beach, beach a beach bottom. American pale. There's more in the more in the glass this time. Five percent. Oh, there it is. That looks nice. What do you think? Is your verdict? Nice. Nice. Mm. Similar to the last one, though, isn't it? Sorry, right, though. Similar to the last one. It's a bit, uh, oh, excuse it's, me. it's like, you know, that bubble liquid. Hmm? You know, the bubble liquid. You dip your thing in, blow bubbles. A bit like that. A bit soapy. It is a little bit soapy. Soapy, warpy. Soapy and Ooh. citrus and that's about it, really. Do you think that as well? Because I thought it was my glass, but no. No, it is. Aye, right, what do you give it? Mm. Six. About six. Six point. Six and a half. Six point five. Six point two five. Showing about two minutes, right? Six by five for that. Out. Okay. So we're ten pound at the moment, which is a shame. But I suppose we're gonna have our bait because it was. We're seeing the weather coming over, and it was it was lashing down. So we dived in. All of us are in here. Rabs on the phone over there. Andy's cooking his steak, and I'm just having. Uh, let's get that out of the way. I'm having. Two packs of, oh Jesus. Two packs of, look what we found, meatballs. 
I've got no rice and I've got some buttered bread. Oh, nightmare. Oh, I've had a disaster. Look at this. It's because I had a precariously bloody balanced man. I've got flipping meatballs all over the tent. I'll owe me bloody sock up the flipping wall. Oh my god. Oh, it's a disaster. Morning campers. Oof. Not much footage last night, if any at all. I can't remember actually. Don't, I don't think there was any. Due to the conditions, it was just it was just crap. Never stopped blowing a gale, raining, and it just got dark so quick. But this morning's a little bit different. Oh, sort my eyes out. I think it's just gone about eight o'clock. Sun's peeking out of the cloud. There's, uh, there's the spot, right next to the trick point. But once it clears up, it'll be beautiful. There's the sun poking through the clouds. But all the wind's coming from this way, straight down past us. I'm sure Andy's pitched his tent in such a way that it's blocking all the wind from my tent. My tent's only getting like a little bit of it, which is always nice. I'll go and see what he's doing. All right. How was your night? Windy. How was your beers? Oh, crafty. Wild one was the best one, wasn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah. The that last one was Ari, like. The double stoot. All right. All right, we had the Wylam. The kind of Wylam white IPA last night, and that was, that was the favorite out of all the beers white last night. Pie. White IPA was absolutely beautiful. If you've never had a beer from Wyland Brewery, get yourself some because they just don't do a bad beer. And they do they do all sorts, ales, craft beer, stouts, everything. So get yourself some Wyland beers. You know what makes sense. You know it makes sense. There's me Voyager. Crackered tent, like I'm I'm starting to really fall in love with this tent again, you know. I'm starting to fall in love with this tent again, just for the size. And it, it looks a bit, it looks a bit wonky, but it's not when you're in. And I had my foil mat down underneath, and uh, I was toasty, toasty warm. Smell the meatballs a little bit, but can it be helped? Smell, I know I wasn't smelling me balls, smelt of meatballs. <laughs> And Rab was Rab's impressed with his Una. Yeah, good night's sleep. Which was Lovely, doing a little jelly effect, wasn't it? Duna. Little jelly effect yeah, just yeah, to wobbles. Huh? <laughs> yeah, Here's the remnants of his tea. Cooked himself meatballs and pasta and sauce and everything. He's like chef. Chef Rab. Yeah, there it is though, but look. I mean it's not blowing a gear like, but it's it's blustery and it's it's just handling it perfect, isn't it? Right, nice one. Right, so we'll, uh, we're going to get out soon because I think it might be busy up here. It being one of the highest points in the Howgills, maybe it is the highest point. So I'm just going to get packed up and uh, head on down. So I'll get some more stuff on the way down, aye. Oh. What a difference half an hour makes. Look at this now. Very nice. The wind's just blowing the cloud through. So we're packed up. We've left no trace. And it is still really windy like. I've took me I've took my gloves off and my hat off. And it's freezing. Absolutely freezing. So I think the plan is to go down and have breakfast in the pub if we get down quick enough. So I can't wait for that actually because I'm starving. Starving. <laughs> 